Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Jeremy Fike, and I just wanted to welcome you to the online version of Organizations and Society. The purpose of this video is to introduce myself, introduce the course, and just kind of give you a little virtual tour of what you can find on Blackboard and for the class. So let me just go ahead, jump right in, and just show you around. I'll introduce myself near the end. So as you log into Blackboard, which of course in an online class is where the majority of the action is going to be class. First tab you'll see it'll land right here is the syllabus and course info. So as you go to um, the syllabus, when you click on it, it'll bring it up. And um, I would just invite you to, to open that up and take a look, read through kind of there's my information there, read through the course objectives and description, all that good stuff. There's also a breakdown of the class here in terms of the, the how each weekly module, which I'll show you in a second, how that breaks down. So you'll see that there. And then as you go through, you'll see kind of how the assignments are broken down and kind of the, the total of what you're expected to do in terms of the application assignments as well as the discussions and everything and then the final project so you'll see all of that right there as well as the percentages that are assigned for each one then you'll also have a welcome message from me which you'll also see um, in, in an online form in an email as well but it gives you a lot of a lot of information a lot of resources that are available and just kind of the lay of the land and course I think in an online version especially it's real important that we be on the same page from the beginning in terms of where you can find things since we don't have the benefit of seeing each other in person it's really helpful for you to be able to know and expect where you can find everything the next document that I want to show you and, and this is probably the most important document to have with you at all times and to be looking at is the schedule of assignments so when you click on that this is what it looks like it's got a full layout of everything that's due uh, and, and when and so what I want to show you is that the course is broken up into four units, four weeks for the class, four modules. So as you look through here um, under activity for each week, you can see what all you have to do, what your readings are for each week, and then exactly when everything is due. And so what you'll basically notice is that there's a few little things here and there, like the first week I'm asking you to do a discussion post where you introduce yourself and respond to a simple prompt. And then there's the final course project, which I'll talk about in a second, has a few action items that are due as, this, as the course goes on. But for the most part, you're going to do a discussion post and a response to a classmate and then an application assignment each week. And that's really what you're, what you're expected to do. And so you'll see there's a rhythm to the class that goes on as, you, um, as the course goes. And so you can kind of see discussion initial post by Tuesday, a response by Thursday, and then the application assignment by the end of the day every Sunday. So you can see there's going to be a total of five application assignments and a total of four discussion posts and responses. So that's really the way that the course goes. And so I would definitely encourage you to have this print uh, saved on your desktop so you know what, what's due when all throughout the, the term. And the next thing I'll talk to you about is just briefly is point your uh, attention to the organizational analysis project. So f I'm not going to spend much time on it, but basically full details are available here in this in this assignment sheet. Um, and so you'll pick an organization that you're going to follow. You're going to post a couple of topics in a discussion forum for me to see. Uh, and then uh, you'll just basically be looking at a certain organization through the lens of things that we're learning as the next four weeks uh, unfold in the class. The next thing I want to mention to you is um, a little bit more details than some of the descriptions. So the rubric that I'm going to use to to evaluate to grade those discussion posts is, is posted there. So you can see it's a five point scale. It's actually going to be the same for the application assignments. The most important thing that I want to share with you is I can provide some tips for you to be successful in the discussion posts and the application assignment is to please be sure that you're integrating course concepts and what you're learning into those responses. After all, it's important for me to be able to see how you process what you're seeing in the case studies and what you're reading through the lens of the course material to make sure that you're grasping it and you can apply it. So I wanted to, there's no secrets in the class about how to be successful. And so I wanna mention that to you to make sure you're integrating course concepts. And as you read through the discussion rubric, you'll see that that features largely in, uh, the abil in, in your ability to get those higher scores. Um, the corporate analysis project is explained there. I've got a couple of samples up here for you in case it helps you to read a sample sample final paper first. Those are there. Here's where the bulk of the action in the course happens. So again, as I mentioned, it's broken down into four weeks, right? And so what you're going to do is um, for each week, it's I think it's you'll find it's laid out pretty easily. But if you go to week one, 
you'll see for each week I'll have a PowerPoint that will either you'll, you'll either see me talking like this over the PowerPoint or it'll just be a narrated PowerPoint. It kind of changes depending on the, the week. So you'll see that. And then it has the, the readings. And so in this case, for week one, you're going to read the first two chapters in the book, as well as this article. Then what you'll see is you'll click on the um, different activities or discussion that's due that, that week. So I've got it set up where it's pretty easy. You click on that, it'll take you right to the discussion forum. So right away, you have an introduction of yourself as well as an assignment. No discussion on the first week, just an introduction as well as a, a, a weekly assignment the first week. If we were to go over to week two, it's a little bit more of a typical week. It'll give you an overview of the objectives for the for that particular module in the course. And then the PowerPoints as well, the readings again, and then Notice that if you click here, week two discussion, you'll click right into it and then you'll just reply. And then you'll see it's, I think it's fairly self-explanatory, but that's the basic rhythm of the course in terms of how it's set up. The bulk of your, your, of your of the action of your learning will take place in those weekly modules. And then again, there's four of them. So every time you click in, it'll be basically the same structure. And I try to do that for continuity sake so it's easy for you to make sense of what's there. There's a lot of robust content, but I want you to be able to find it. So that's basically it in terms of the layout of the course. Um, but let me just stop in by telling you a little bit about me. So I teach full time at Belmont and I teach in communication studies and corporate communication. I've been at Belmont for, for three years before coming to Belmont. Uh, my wife and I lived in Milwaukee where I taught at Marquette University and um, had a real good experience, um, but, but I'm actually from the South and my wife is too. And so we were looking to get a little bit uh, to a, a different kind of climate that we're used to in terms of being in the South. So that's why we're here and just absolutely love it. I've, I found a great home uh, at Belmont and I just love the, my three years here. Um, we've got uh, two girls. We have uh, a four and a half year old, almost five year old, uh, who actually will, will turn five right after this uh, summer session ends. But um, so Emma Grace Fike is our um, is our oldest, and then we have a, um, a younger daughter named Lennon, and so those are our our two girls, and I'm uh, just really uh, blessed to have those have those kiddos and uh, uh, get to do all of the fun things that come with being a parent. So um, a couple of other things I'll share with you. Uh, my wife and I are both really active in our church. Uh, we go to White House First Baptist. We live up in White House, which is about 45 minutes north of uh, of Nashville. And so we're both very involved uh, in our church. My wife is a stay-at-home mom, but she's also a writer. And so she's working on her first book and she's a blogger. Her blog is Sweet River Mama, in case you're interested in looking at uh, uh, checking it out. Um, I lead a team at our church um, that is a, a vision team I'm in charge of visioning and planning over the next uh, five years. So I'm doing that. Um, I'm on the Building and Grounds Committee and a uh, number of other things. My wife and I run a, a a team that's devoted to uh, community outreach as well. So we plan a lot of events. Um, we run the website, we do social media, we do all kinds of stuff. So um, I mentioned all that because it's, it's really, it's really amazing when you get to live life uh, according to God's purpose for that life. And so really feel blessed to be able to do that. Uh, all the things that we do. The other thing I want to mention is that I also um, do training, uh, corporate leadership development, as well as consulting. And so jeremyfike.com is my website for my business. And so um, again, I, and I do a number, a lot of projects for for-profit clients, as well as nonprofits, including churches. Um, and so, and also do some work for Belmont. And so that's just a, another blessing that God's put in our, in our lives to be able to, um, to do that work. And so I wanted to just introduce myself, um, like I would if we were in front of each other on the first day of class. So you get to know me. The last thing I want to mention to you is that um, I'm here to help. I know this is an online class, but uh, my email is, uh, is on the syllabus. And then um, feel free to get in touch with me anytime. I think you'll find me uh, readily available to help you. And I want to be, help you be successful in this class. So thank you so much for being part of this class. And I hope you'll find it to be a great experience.